Access for construction is one of the main drivers for selecting the facade system for the project. In the case of this project, the choice of access for construction is severely limited by the fact that the existing facade is retained. Let's review what access for construction is required for all four redevelopment options. In the first option, where the entire building structure is retained, it is possible to install new windows in the existing apertures from the inside of the building. Insulation behind the concrete, as well as dry lining, obviously does not require external access. The glazing contractor will place the windows in the existing apertures with the help of the glazing robot. The windows are then sealed with the membrane. It is likely that the scope of work of the window contractor will end at this point. The dry lining contractor will be responsible for installation of the insulation, stud wall, VCL membrane and gypsum board. In the second option, where the existing concrete screen is retained and the internal structure is replaced with the new concrete frame, the sequence of work will be the same once the new structure is connected to the existing screen. However, the involvement of the fire stopping contractor will be required. Fire stops between the existing concrete screen and the new slabs and party walls are also installed from the inside of the building. For installation of louvers and window sills, external access may still be necessary. Scaffolds can be erected in some locations around the building for this purpose. However, since there are no recesses and protrusions in the facade, it makes sense to consider motorized platform access. If there is a significant amount of work requiring external access, such as installation of louvers to the windows of the triangular apertures, it's worth considering mass climbers as a means of access. However, if only a minor amount of work is needed, such as applying silicon or installing the window sills, the works could be carried out from motorized elevated working platforms or MUBs such as boom lifts, cherry pickers, or scissor lift platforms. The option involving timber frame and stick curtain wall will be slightly different. External access is required for installation of both the balcony steel structure and the curtain wall screen. While a temporary steel framework is in place to retain the existing precast concrete screen, scaffolding will be erected between the concrete screen and the timber frame. Balcony brackets as well as the curtain wall brackets will be installed at the cross laminated timber slab edge at the same time. Once the curtain wall screen is installed, the balcony steel structure will be connected to the balcony stub brackets. Then balcony decking and soffits are installed as the scaffold is disassembled. Once the external concrete screen is connected to the new timber frame via balcony screen, the temporary steel structure supporting the screen can be removed. Balustrades, privacy screens and other ancillary items can be completed using the balcony as a means of access. In case of the refurbishment option, where the external precast concrete screen is repurposed as the window wall precast facade, the precast concrete panels are taken off the existing building. Windows are pre-installed into the apertures of the diamond shade precast concrete panels off-site in the controlled environment. The panels are then lifted by the tower crane from the back of the lorry and maneuvered into place on the new in-situ concrete slab by the operatives standing inside of the building. Openable windows are installed within the triangular apertures between the diamond-shaped panels from the inside of the building. Just like with the other precast concrete facade, retrofitting options, insulation, drywall and fire stopping are installed from the inside of the building once the panels are in place. This assembly method eliminates the need for external access. It is likely to be the fastest and most cost-effective method of facade assembly. The spider crane commonly used for installation of the unitized facades is unlikely to be a viable installation method in this instance. The combined weight of the concrete panel and the mobile crane is unlikely to exceed the maximum load that the floor slab could bear. When it comes to access for cleaning and maintenance, there are three most commonly used strategies. Rope up sailing, access from motorized elevation platforms and via building maintenance unit, commonly referred to as BMU. The existing precast concrete screen does not have any protrusions or recesses. This liberates the facade designers when it comes to the access for maintenance. Virtually any means of access could be utilized in the resulting building. The selection of the access type will largely depend on the surrounding areas, project location and practicality rather than technical restrictions of the design. Concrete and glass have fairly forgiving maintenance regime. The glasses and windows are fairly small in size and in case of breakage they can be replaced using any of the listed access methods. Since the building is only seven stories high, all areas of the facade should be reachable with either cherry picker or scissor lift. However, it's worth mentioning that the motorized access equipment may obstruct pedestrians or traffic next to the building during the maintenance operation. The streets surrounding the facade are quite narrow and obstructing the pavement and roads is undesirable. For these reasons, it's worth considering access via building maintenance unit or BMU positioned on the roof of the building. 
To gain access to all or most facade surfaces, the building maintenance unit will need to be very large in size or require tracks around the perimeter of the roof. However, this may not be feasible if there is a recessed terrace at the top of the building or if this area will be required for plants responsible for the building's electrical and mechanical services. In this instance, the rope-up ceiling could be a viable solution for cleaning and maintenance access. In the option with mass timber frame, it is possible to clean and maintain the steel curtain wall facade from the balconies. In this instance, it is important to ensure that all glasses and doors do not exceed the sizes of the internal doors and corridors and should be sufficiently lightweight to be manually handled by the operatives when various parts are replaced in case of breakage. Additionally, provision should be still made for rope-up sailing access for minor works and cleaning of the external retained precast concrete screen. In all retrofit options, the lower floor facade could be cleaned via so-called reach-and-wash system.